What's going on guys, Musk Cream Militia, bringing you another episode of Season Survival, and welcome to the continuation of last episode. So if you don't know what we're doing, we are building a extremely oversized chessboard that is probably unnecessary, but I'm doing it anyways, because I do what I want. So, in the last episode, we built this pawn right here, and then I went ahead and built this one. Uh, so, what we're doing today is we are going to build the Rook, if you couldn't tell from the title. Uh, if you don't know what the Rook is, it's probably because you call it the castle. So, it's the castle in the corners that moves as many blocks as you want um, to the, like, up and down and left and right. And yeah, so we're going to do that one. So, I just need to get some more slabs and stairs, and then we should be ready to go. Uh, it's a, s a little more than a stack of those, and there's. Alrighty, let's get moving on this. All right, so I do believe it starts off the same as the rest of them do, uh, with the kind of design going around like this. And I would think that's how they all start, actually, to be honest. Um, so now we take the stairs again and do the same thing as we always have done. Go around with them like this. Oh, jeez. No train of thought today. Alright, uh, we're gonna just keep going around with this all the way around until we do that. You finish the last one, and then we take, uh... Uh-oh. <laughs> I just fell in. I'm trapped, I'm trapped, like rats. And you take regular blocks and make a little border around the top half of the, of the little base. And then you go up one more all the way around. Yep. Pick that back up. Give me that. Alright, I need my ender pearls. Alright, so now we're gonna go up two and go one, two, one, two, and then go two all the way around. And we're actually going to go four up, but this just makes it easier trying to place the walls. Since they're like a block and a half high, like their hitboxes, so it just is an awkward height to try to place things at. If you try to do too many at one time. So, we're just going to finish this. This is the whole middle part. This one is not too t too complicated. So if you guys wanted to... I don't know if you guys are building this on your world right now uh, or not. But if you are, I, good luck. Because it's not easy. Um, but if that's also pretty cool if you guys want to do that. I don't really mind. I don't mind. This is also a sort of tutorial on how to build these things. But you... Are gonna need a lot of resources, and I have them all, so I can do it. But if you don't on your survival world, I would recommend holding off a little bit before you try to jump into a project like this. Try to get yourself a little more situated. Oh, that's a wrong block. Do I? Yeah. Okay. Just all right. Now we bring 
you just saw what I did. You saw I, uh, once I got to the top here, I put a border around and put upside down stairs out here. And now I'm just bringing it up two. So then I can put more upside down stairs like this. Like pretty much the same way it is on the bottom, just upside down. So this is kind of reversed. And we do this all the way around. If I can... Oh, wait. Derp. I can't do it like that. Now, all we have to do now, once I finish placing these, is just bring it up a couple blocks and make it look like... The, the, Mo the Mongols, I believe. Which is, if you don't know what a Mongol is, I don't know if that's actually the right word anyways. But it's, when you look at a castle, it's the little thing on the wall that shoots up that the archers usually hide behind. If, you, if that makes any sense to you. It's the little, like, on my wall, it's the uh, cobblestone walls that are standing up on the top. Like, on the place where you can walk. Those are called Mongols, I believe. I'm, I don't quote me on that because I'm not positive. I'm not. Uh. Alright, well, that's the rook. So, this, let's just get down there and you can see. So, it's turning nighttime. Uh, but this is the rook. It looks kind of. It's very simplistic as the rest of these are. That was dangerous. I almost thought I wasn't going to make that. Uh, it's very simplistic like this, like the rest of them. Um, so, yeah, that's the rook. So, I'm going to, what we're going to do now is instead of doing a second one, uh, we're going to take these and we're just going to make a couple more squares. The only material I'm going to have an issue getting is all this wool, just because wool takes forever to shear, just because sheeps are so, they don't want to eat the grass and grow their wool back because all they want to do is just sit there and look at you like I'm a sheep I'm a sheep 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 meow or no whoa, whoa. that was no <laughs> sheeps don't meow sheeps go bah like I want to go to I have to go to the bathroom <laughs> uh, I don't have that many much spruce wood anymore do I oh I need to get some because all I got is saplings that's alright, I guess. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, one, two, three, four. Um. So, yeah, guys. So, that's pretty much what we're doing today. I'm just going to do a couple more of these, and then we'll probably end the episode. Just to keep these short, because I don't want to... If I try to do another one, it's going to get too long. And if I don't do another one, it's like if I just ended it when I ended that tower, it was it would have been so short. So I'm kind of I'm gonna look for some other stuff to do while I'm in here, while I'm making this, because the next tower is gonna take a little longer, because uh, it's the night, so it has a little bit more detail in it, uh, which is actually kind of cool, because the night was the first one I actually designed, I believe. Uh, so that one is kind of my favorite. If you kind of get what I'm saying. <laughs> if I kind of do, kind of, kind of, kind of. <laughs> no, it's just, it looks the nicest. I want, I can't, can, I don't want to say that either. Because they, they all look nice. I make sure, I made sure of that. Yeah. So this series is going well for me, I think. I kind of like where it's going. I do need so much wool, though. Oh my goodness. And I don't, what should I do around the outsides? Because I don't want to just leave, like, the gross-looking dugout wall kind of look there. I want to do something with it, but I don't know what yet. Because I might terraform the whole thing all the way around to make it look kind of natural, like it just kind of dipped down into this valley with the chessboard. Or, 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 I may just flatten the whole desert out even like all the way that way and all the way this way and then I'll terraform it like very hard 
so it'll like drop very quickly right around this my uh, little mansion over here and I may end up what I might want to do oh, let's catch that auto save yeah so what I think I'm gonna do is if I can get that much dirt because for some reason I don't have any dirt it's probably because I flattened like I made that whole area out there flat but this isn't the desert anymore like it it's full of sand but when the biome switched when the update came out uh, this became like a grass biome like a plains biome so it rains and stuff so if I put grass down it would look right so maybe when I terraform it I'll make it like a sheer cliff so it's like a mountain kinda so this is on top of a mount this house is on top of a mountain with grass and then you drop down and it's like a big deserted desert kind of thing I think that'll actually be pretty cool there's an enderman ready you wanna know what happens when an ender well that's what happens when you look at an enderman and oh god oh no oh no oh no uh oh where'd he go where'd he go is that him right there is that him oh oh god uh now I have two endermen oh 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 no that's not good where is he? Oh, there they are. Ha ah. Hello. Hello, my friends. Attack! Go, go, go! Get back here. Get back here. Where'd he go? Get back here. Get back here. Get out of here. Fire aspect and enderman. <laughs> if you have fire aspect, that's a good way to get rid of enderman, but if you're trying to kill them, not so much. Because endermen teleport when they take damage. Uh, When they take like player damage if they take fall damage they don't teleport that's why uh the the enderman spawn farm works but if you hit them they'll teleport around so that's why when they catch on fire they kind of like freak out and teleport everywhere because they every time they stop they teleport somewhere they get hit again so they teleport somewhere else and get hit again it's just like an endless cycle so i hope you guys did enjoy this episode and I hope you guys are enjoying me building this nice huge chessboard because I know I like it. It's pretty sweet and this is going to be so cool when it's done. It's just going to be a giant chessboard just chilling in the middle of the uh, not the ocean. <laughs> in the middle of the desert. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm Musketeer Mosh. I'll see you all next time. Bye.